Welcome. Today we're going to talk about uh, publishing to WordPress from Obsidian. Back uh, in early 2022, I actually covered the same plugin we're going to look at today. And at the time, I thought it was not really there. It was not a great plugin to use, just not great at the moment. But uh, I went to start rebuilding it, like make a new, my own plugin that would send Obsidian files to WordPress. And I found that it's come a long way. I don't need to build my own plugin for Obsidian, which is honestly perfect for me. So let's take a look at the Obsidian um, published to WordPress plugin. Now, as with every plugin in Obsidian, I'm going to hit command comma to go to uh, my settings. I'm going to go to community plugins and then go browse. If you don't see all this, this will actually say turn on or turn off restricted mode. I'm going to browse and I'm going to search for WordPress. And you can see I've got it installed. I will enable it uh, at that moment. So right now we can look at the options and the options are putting in my WordPress URL, which is chrismichael.ca. I can choose my authentication method. There's a few XML RPC, uh, REST authentication by mini orange, which means you need to install another plugin, uh, REST authentication by application passwords. That's what I recommend. REST API for WordPress.com, which is WordPress.com. So next we'll need to do once we set this up, and I've already done this, so I'm just kind of showing you. So I'll open up Safari. And if I go to my site, and then to create a application password, we're gonna go under your users to our profile. And scroll down and see add new application password. So we'd name it and it's gonna give you a password. Now it's only gonna give you this once. So make sure you hang on to it. Um, that's already done for me. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And I've already recorded it elsewhere. So I put it in one password as something and then you can set your other options, right? Show the icon in the sidebar. I don't want that. It will show the icon over in the sidebar right here. What your default post status is, draft or publish, comment status default. Remember your last selected categories and show the confirmation. Actually, don't need to show confirmation. And then also some math jack stuff, which I don't actually do math jack, so I don't know what it does, and I don't need to worry about it. So now, move Obsidian out of the way, and this is the actual post that for this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit Command P. And I'm going to type WordPress, publish current note. So now it's going to ask you, you can see I have an email here and it's going to ask for my application password, which I blacked out. This is actually one issue I have with the plugin. This application password is stored plain text in your data.json file inside the plugin. Not the best option. Um, I'm actually already talking to the plugin author and we're trying to come up with different ways to encrypt it, whether that's a simple pin just to encrypt it so you only do it once or something like that once per session. So hopefully this will get fixed in short order, but at this moment I wouldn't actually recommend remembering your password or at least put the caveat in there that it is now plain text in there. Unfortunately, WordPress has on their list to do what's called uh, application scoping with their um, application passwords so that the password will only be allowed to do certain things. But at this moment, that is not what it does. It is just plain text. It just can do everything on your site really. So. Be careful about that. And I'm gonna hit login. Takes a second. And now I have my options. Draft, my comment status is open. And what category is this? This, it only shows, you can see, it doesn't show all of my categories. I don't have my PKM in here. It only shows like the most recent, whatever, 10, I guess. So I'd love if it showed more as well. That's another issue with it. So I'm gonna just leave it as links of interest for now. So it's gonna be a draft. I can hit publish. Now it's published. And you see it added some uh, data up here, right? What category it went to, what the post ID is. And we'll open up Safari now again and go back to my site. And if I come into my posts, see I've got it right there. Publish to from Obsidian to WordPress, it's a draft. So now I do all the rest of the stuff I need to do. I need to add a featured image. I need to add a few other things. And I also need to I'll put it as a classic block. So I would actually come in here and say convert to blocks. And now I can do all the regular stuff I do. Like at the bottom, I only have a reusable block. I'll type add. This will be uh, an obsidian and that'll cast an add. So just for my courses. Uh, and I also need to put the date in there. So the date for this will actually be published immediately. It will actually be on Wednesday at 8.00 a.m. Now I can schedule it. And are you ready? Did I put it in the proper category? I didn't. So proper category, PKM, 
tags, it gets obsidian WordPress. There we go. I'm going to say toot this on Mastodon. So now the post is almost ready. I need to still put some images in here that I have um, uh, already taken for it. I need to do a few other things to touch it up. But that's really how it works. Uh, I really like the plugin. So one of the other issues with the plugin, though, is that if you have more than one WordPress you want a site you want to publish to from your same Obsidian database, you actually can't do that. There's no like multiple accounts. You can only publish to one different site at a time. Um, I'd also love it if we got not the classic editor, the classic block, but just a standard set of blocks in WordPress. But we don't at the moment. That's fine. Uh, and then finally, I also mentioned the issue with categories and the password issue. So. You need to look at your own security there. Are you going to be worried about people getting in um, to your WordPress site or having this go further? And so there's two solutions to that. One is having the password encrypted. And number two is even better for WordPress, really, to do a proper scoping on the password so that you can say this password is only allowed to put posts in draft or only certain capabilities to use WordPress terms. Hopefully, we get there at some point soon. That's it. If you love the video, thumbs up below. Subscribe. Hit the bell. YouTube nonsense really support me. You can take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Members get all my courses included. Have an awesome day.